Wake up early one day, I dare you, and watch the sun rise. Watch how it encourages the earth to become itself only more so. Watch how it allows all things, even the sad beings, to be colorful and beautiful. Then listen, listen as it says quietly, but undoubtedly, we begin again. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Christ is risen indeed. Good morning to you all and welcome to this glorious Easter Sunday morning. We are here on the northeast shores of Lake Erie here on Lorraine Bay and we are here to celebrate the dawning of a new day, the return of new life. With God, through God, because of God, we are able to celebrate this Easter, celebrate the mighty power of hope and the beginning of life all over again. We are here to celebrate that Jesus Christ is risen today and to proclaim hallelujah with everything we have and all that we are. Let us prepare our hearts and our minds for worship as we take in the glorious gift of this day. From a triumphant Palm Sunday to a dark, betrayed Friday, we have journeyed to Easter. Wiser now, we know that joy and sorrow, life and death are bound together. Passing through sorrow, through death, to life and joy, we arrive at Easter. The risen one still bore the marks of the nails. Life knows death. Joy still knows sorrow. Yet it is life that triumphs over all, the love which conquers all threats. Here at the water's edge, we feel ourselves in the refreshing power of God's grace, washing over us with mercy and release, setting us free to revel in the gift of new life. Let us pray. God of Easter surprise and everlasting presence, on this joyous day we feel as if anything is possible. In the mystery of love you empower us to join with you in helping transformations happen in this world. The hallelujahs of Easter equip us for the opportunities you send our way, and we are glad. Amen. Oh, uh -huh. 
John chapter 20, verses 1 through 10. Early in the morning on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance, so she ran off to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and told them, the rabbi has been taken from the tomb. We don't know where they have put Jesus. At that, Peter and the other disciple started out toward the tomb. They were running side by side, but then the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He didn't enter, but bent down to peer in and saw the linen wrappings lying on the ground. Then Simon Peter arrived and entered the tomb. He observed the linen wrappings on the ground and saw the piece of cloth that had covered Jesus' head lying not with the wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the disciple who had arrived first at the tomb went in. He saw and believed. As yet, they didn't understand the scripture that Jesus was to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. Tree on your 
And the story continues with verses 11 through 18. Meanwhile, Mary stood weeping beside the tomb. Even as she wept, she stooped to peer inside and there she saw two angels in dazzling robes. One was seated at the head and the other at the foot of the place where Jesus' body had lain. Then they asked her, why are you weeping? She answered them, because they have taken away my rabbi and I don't know where they have put the body. No sooner had she said this than she turned around and caught sight of Jesus standing there, but she didn't know it was Jesus. He asked her, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? She supposed it was the gardener, so she said, Please, if you're the one who carried Jesus away, tell me where you've laid the body and I will take it away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him and said, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus then said, don't hold on to me for I have not yet ascended to Abba God. Rather go to the sisters and brothers and tell them I'm ascending to my Abba and to your Abba, my God and your God. Mary of Magdala went to the disciples. I have seen the teacher, she announced. Then she reported what the Savior had said to her. Thanks be to God. Amen. Destroy. 
With joy and thanksgiving, let us lift up together the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, coming to God as children to a mother who shelters them, praying together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May you know God's faithful presence with you now and always. This new morning has broken and there is news to share. Wherever this day and this life takes you, may these words stay with you. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. This is a love bound by grace that will never end. Thanks be to God. Amen.